right. So this is a circuit to observe the charge of the capacitor. This is the current source which delivers current I. This is my capacitor which is polarized. At the beginning there is a switch K which is closed across the capacitor. Channel A of the oscilloscope is there to observe the voltage you see against time. Now, the current I is a particular one. I is equal to 100 microampere from 0 to 20. It is equal to 0 microampere from 20 to 40. It is equal to minus 100 microampere from 40 to 60, and so on. At t is equal to 0, k is open. I am going to observe the charge of the capacitor on the cathode ray oscilloscope. Thus, the current source has been adjusted to deliver 100 microampere. At time t is equal to 0, I am going to remove the short circuit. You can see that the capacitor is charging. Now, often time t is equal to 20 seconds, i is equal to zero for the capacitor. Right? I'm going to wait for a further 20 seconds and after 20 seconds again, I'm going to invert the current to the capacitor. Look, look carefully at the graph. Just remind you the graph is UC against time. And after time t is equal to 20 seconds again, I'm going to short circuit the capacitor. Alright? Now, this is a graph of UC against time. When I is equal to 100 microampere, when I is equal to 0 microampere, and when I is equal to minus 100 microampere. 